Welcome to my overview video for Clouds, the real-time granular audio processor from Mutable Instruments. I'll go through the features, CV inputs, trigger input, the different blend modes, the audio quality and loading and saving, as well as a couple of additional patches in those as well. Here's the dry sound, which is a male vocal sample counting from 1 through to 20, and here's that sound. 4, 5, 6, So it's decent quality with a nice easy recognisable sound. 10, Here's the input gain. 12, 13, 14, 15. And you can distort the module. There's a minus 18 dB to plus 6 dB range. 20, 1, 2, 3. We've got four blend modes, four, each selected five, by this button. Six, and as there's four seven, modes and only one knob, eight, you can see the level nine, of each blend mode 10, corresponding to the LED 11, color. 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 17, 18, 18 19. 19 the first blend mode is a dry wet, and this is now 100% wet. Three, four, seven, the position changes the playback position nine, in the audio ten, buffer, and the size of the buffer and the quality 12, is determined by one of 13, four settings which I'll look 14, at later in the video. 15, 16, we then have grain size, 17, 18, 19, 20, which is more apparent with less grains and a bit less overlap. Three, four, five, six, There's then the density of the grains. At 12 o'clock there are no grains. Working anti-clockwise on the knob, the grains are sawn evenly and at an increasing rate as further around that knob you go. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Going clockwise to the right, the grains are sawn randomly. 17. Five, six, the texture seven, changes the grain eight, envelope, which is a square nine, box car style all the way left through 11, to triangle shapes 12, and then into a diffuser which smears the grains 14, and the stereo space as well as you go all the way right. 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's also a 11, pitch shift. 12, 13. 15, 16, 18, and then the four blend 19, modes. 20, 1. I freeze two, the audio and go through the three, features, which will then be four, a bit more obvious. I find a point in that buffer with a playback position that contains the sound as there are gaps between the counting going on. And if you sweep the playback knob backwards, you can sort of play back through the captured audio in real time if you just get the sweep of the knob right. You could also do this with CV. Four, Sticking with the frozen sound, the settings will be easier to hear. Here's the grain size again. Here's the density with no grain sound at 12 o'clock. we can then smear with the texture. To the right we have the grains which are sawn randomly. Through the blend modes, this is the dry wet on mode 1. 8, 9, 10. Sticking with that fully wet, we can press the button again and go to the second blend mode. The orange LED shows the value of blend mode 1 and you can see the second LED change as I move the blend knob. The second mode is a stereo processor moving the grains and panning randomly across the stereo field left and right. So make sure you're listening high quality on YouTube to make sure you're hearing that stereo audio properly. Freezing the audio, I'll go to blend mode 3, which is feedback, sending the output back into itself, which creates a delay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16. You can get a cascading pitch up effect by turning up the pitch as this goes through the pitch shifting each time it feeds back onto itself. So all of this is really interactive, so I'll play around with the settings. 14. You can really easily get grain delays with this feedback as well. Three. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, 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 eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 one, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. 15, 15, 15, 16, 15, 16, 15, 16, 15, 16, 17, 17. Turning down the feedback, I'll go into the fourth blend mode, 20, which is a reverb. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can mix and match all the blend modes and see the settings on each blend mode with a button. An interesting feature with the feedback is if I go back into mode 3, I'm going to use the feedback button frozen audio. It shouldn't work because if the input is frozen and the buffer is just playing a frozen audio, you can't actually feed anything back in live because that input's not being used. So some clever coding going on using the all pass filters in the reverb algorithm to create a feedback style drone that adds into the sound. Freezing the audio goes back to standard feedback mode, and I'll add some stereo spatialization and reverb as well and just play around. 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's it for the features. I'll then look at the trigger input and the CV inputs as well. I'm in blend mode 1 and this is dry, I'll take it fully wet and then I'll put an LFO into the playback position. LFO into pitch as you can imagine sounds pretty silly. Here's the blend CV input. 8, Here's the texture with the same LFO. 3, 4, 5. Six, and you can hear that move seven, between more smeared and diffused sounds and then the more square like grain envelopes. 11, 12, 13. Freezing the audio and going into playback position, you can hear the LFO take it into sections of silence in that audio as we've got those silences between the counting. I'll tweak that and turn the LFO up to audio rate. Here's the LFO into the grain size. And bear in mind this is just a full range LFO signal from a Z3000 oscillator. Here's CV over the density. Also patching of the unit is put the outputs back into itself. This is useful for creating random fluctuations which is really common with granular synthesis and a great tip if you don't have a noise source or random sources to hand. So here's the left output going into the CV position. And then into the size. And then into both. I'll unfreeze the audio now and add the LFO back into the texture. One, two, two, three, three, four, five. So it's really easy to manipulate the unit with CV as well. Eight, nine. I'll create a frozen sound based on the same audio input and then look at the trigger input. <laughs> Taking the density down to a slower number of grains, you can use the trigger input to lock the grains to a tempo and loop those grains within that trigger rhythm. You can see the speed of the square wave clock that I've gone in flashing red on the LED cable. 
So here's the sound without it. The density then works to create time-based divisions against that clock, and it'll correct itself really quickly with any fluctuating and changing clocks. Hear the grains of sound randomly, and then I look at adding the trigger back in. So even when they're random, it creates little looped phrases based on the trigger input. So you've seen the CV inputs, the features and the modes, and now send a few different CVs to the module and build up a patch. Here's a dry wet, and I won't quite just go fully wet yet. One, two, three, four. Here's a fast audio rate sample and hold into the position. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And a noise source into the grain size. Fifteen. 16. I'll then freeze the audio and play around going 100% wet. 20. 1. Thirteen. Going back to 50-50 dry wet, here's a random trigger into the freeze input. 18. 19. 20. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. Taking this 100% wet again. 11, 12, 13, 15, 15. Here's a modulated LFO into the trigger input. 8, 9, 20, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's another LFO into the density. 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 18. Going into the second blend mode, I'll add some stereo spatialization of those grains. 17, Taking an LFO into the feedback and going into mode 3 on the blend and using that blend CV input. Taking that CV out, I'll then just turn down the feedback and use the CV back into the blend mode on mode 4, which is the reverb. And those silences in the audio again are coming from the silence in the audio buffer as we've got counting with gaps of silence in between as the audio input. 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So here I'll create a frozen sound and get a long smeared drone and then I'm going to use the Volt Proactive input to use that as a different sound source instead of say an oscillator to play a pitch sequence. Here's a sequence into the vault per octave. And I'll play around and fine tune the settings on clouds. And then add some CV. Going into the trigger. Into the grain size. Here's some stereo spatialization again. And then some reverb. 
So it's just a really basic patch, just making it freeze the sound and play that with a Vault Per Octave. This could be much more elaborate around your modular, obviously, as well. Here's the audio settings, and you can access these by pressing and holding the leftmost 16, black button 17, in the right hand corner, which is also the blend 19, mode button. 20. In this first mode, you've got 32 kilohertz sample rate and a 16 bit resolution, and it'll record a stereo input with one second of buffer time. 8, 9, 10. Pressing the button 11, again, you get the same settings 12, of 32 kilohertz 13, and 16 bits, 14, but it's mono rather 15, than stereo, 16, and then it gives you two seconds 17, of audio buffer 18. time. 19, so I'll just freeze 20, that, and then there's actually one, two seconds of sampled two, audio around this three, playback position knob. Four, five, six, Leaving the dry weight at 50-50, the third audio setting is 16 kilohertz and 8-bit audio, which is based on micro law, which is more like cassette and fair light sampling, which is a bit less hiss and more distortion and lo-fi. 12, 20, 1, 2, 3, So you can hear it's a bit more distorted and lo-fi, but we do get 4 seconds of sample time. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, Going into the 14, fourth setting, we've got the 15, same 16 kilohertz 15, and 8 bit resolution, 17, but it's in mono 18, and we've got 8 seconds 19, of sample time. 20, Freezing the audio and sweeping 20, the playback knob, 30, I can play back the sound 40, and show that you get that longer 8 second range 6, of audio. 7, 8, 9, 10, 4. Here's looking at some other sound into the input, and I've just got a triangle wave coming in here. Turning up the dry wet as I'm in the first blend mode, I'm then going to just play around. And even though the input is static, I'm going to freeze the audio and just play around as well. It's really easy to create these smeared textures. We'll then add some dry signal back in. Going into blend mode 3, which is feedback, I'll then play around again. Turning that down, here's the reverb. And sweeping the oscillator's pitch, you can hear that reverb trail more obviously. If I make my oscillator play a pitch sequence, clouds will follow that as it's live audio input. Playback position here is like a delay at its lowest position, it's following the first point in the audio buffer, but pushing that back later into the audio buffer, it's delaying, creating a nice smeared delay on top of what's going in from the oscillator. And watch out for a new video coming soon using different audio inputs into clouds. So here's the same voice counting again that I've used throughout the rest of the video and I look at saving and loading audio buffers. You can save the audio buffer itself along with the audio quality and settings and the blend modes that you are in. Hold, holding the rightmost button which is load and save you'll then access the load and save features but first I'll freeze my audio. So holding the load save button for one second the LED then flashes red. Then you press the button to choose which of the four destinations you want to save that to, and then press save again to confirm and save that in that location. 
to load the audio you just press the load save button and you don't have to hold it and then you can move between the four locations and pick what you want to load pressing load again to confirm that and load that audio buffer I'll then add the second saved buffer and this is going to be my oscillator from before and I'll just create the frozen audio first So holding the load and save, I then select slot 2 and then press save again to confirm. Taking out my audio input, I can press load and go to slot 2 and recall that audio. So that's loading and saving. So I'll have a video to follow this one going through the additional modes in clouds and probably another video as well going through feeding other sounds such as drums and other bits of percussion and acoustic instruments into clouds. Be sure to check out the other Mutable Instruments videos on my page and hit like and subscribe for more videos every week.